a short video for you guys that is going to show you how to upload your homework and the assignments that we have and that I'm asking you to do in class. Now, obviously, each day that you're going to come in, you're going to come in, you're going to take a look at this, and if you would like to, you can expand that to make it larger so it becomes a large screen. On Wednesday, say it's the first day of class, on Wednesday, we're going to click here. It will take us to our schedule for the day, so you can kind of see what we're doing in class um, over here on this side and where we are, go back, and then where we are over here with your housekeeping activities and homework that you're going to do. So what you want to do um, when you first come in, there's a click up here to submit attendance. And when you click that, that's going to take you to a Google form to fill out for me. You can start filling it out at the beginning of class, but there will be questions for the end of it. So you can put your name, answer a few questions for me, and then at the end, it's going to ask you something about the lesson that we had that day. So you'll submit this at the end of class. So that's number one. That's the first thing you're going to do to submit. The second thing that you're going to do, all of these activities, no matter what we're going to do, lives in the folder for that day. So if you click on Go to Schoology folder, it will take you to this folder right here. And everything that you're going to do is also listed there. So you'll notice that at the top is the attendance link that you're going to do. Here is our uh, group discussion. So on a group discussion, typically what you're going to do is you're going to answer that within Schoology. So you would click on that, and it would take you to the assignment. And here's where you get your own copy of that assignment. It might look a little different to you because I'm viewing this as myself right now. Um, but when you click that open, that will give you a uh, basically kind of like a little PowerPoint that's going to lead you through the activity that you're doing. Um, so like up here, I would like you to put your group name so you can click into that. It will be a box and you can type your names in there. Uh, when you go to the next slide, you'll have a little video to watch. Here's a question over here. And then typically places where you're going to answer things are text box. Just double click it into the little uh, gray box and then put your answers to your questions in there. Uh, there will be times on this when, let me go to this slide, you may be doing some math work and that's going to be on your own paper. Obviously, it's kind of challenging sometimes to type in math work. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your type in your answer here of the word part and then insert a picture of the work below. So you're just going to come up here to where it says insert image right there. And then when you insert image um, from your computer or however you get it to your Google Drive or however you're doing that to airdrop it, then you would insert a, a small picture of your work below and just crop it, um, make it the size that's there. I can always enlarge it. So that's going to be these group discussions. So most of those are going to be within the Schoology environment. And then when you are finished with those, you will submit those to me. And so as you can see here, I can see the assignment. Here are the people where it's in progress. So I can check and see that you're working on it and kind of where you are and take a look at your files. And then if when you're done, you're going to submit it to me for um, me to look at. Now, going back to um, our Wednesday 9-9, so that's one item that you're going to have. That's, you're going to work together in group. Now, you'll be doing that in your collaboration space, or you may be, you're being a Zoom breakout. Uh, you may want to share screens with each other. You, you know, you figure out what works best for you in terms of discussing this within your group and answering it. Each person needs to turn in their own copy but you can discuss this, talk about it, decide on what answers you want to put in there. All right, then there is a video for you to watch. So you would click this, and this video will give you kind of a little summary of what is what you should have gotten out of that group activity. So once you are done with the group activity, you can then move on to the summary. And I'm going to be available in Loom. Uh, you can always request uh, help um, in the Zoom breakout and um, ask, invite the host, which would be me, to come see you. And then I can kind of check in and come answer questions through the little group work that we're doing in the classroom environment. Now, your first homework right here is going to be this check your understanding, which is at the end of that assignment. 
Now with this check your understanding, here's a like a the PDF of the entire set of class notes. Notice you don't really need to print these out. You don't need to waste your paper. Uh, a lot of what you're doing is going to be kind of on your own paper. It was like old school notebooks. So because I didn't want to have students have to have the printout of these things. So you'll have your own. You can go back and view the group activity together um, at any point because it'll be in this Schoology environment. And then your homework, what you're going to do, and, and the homework is different in that if I'm asking you to do something, you're going to work them on your own paper, but you're going to turn them in. This is the one thing you're going to turn in in uh, the OneNote notebook. Uh, we're going to try a couple different things this year that may change later on. I may see that it's easier to grade things in Schoology versus the OneNote, but we'll see how it works. So you would go to your Schoology notebook and you would scroll down to your class notebook. So uh, here I am, you only see yours, I see everybody's, but you would see your class notebook and you would go to homework. And what you would see there is a page that's already named 99, homework number one, class notes 1.1, check your understanding. Now, do not change the name of this page. The name has to be that same name for me to find it in order to grade each of the students as I go through it. So you never change this. Don't ever type anything up here in this little portion of it. Now, what you're going to do is you're just going to work it on your own paper. It's kind of like pretend like this is a textbook. You don't need to copy the table down. You don't. You just need to show work that is requested that would go right there. So whatever you would write there, you would just do number one on your paper and show your work for that. Make sure that since this is like calculating an average rate of change, you're going to show a difference quotient with numbers in them that you've pulled from the table and a final answer with units. And so that is something that you would just write on your own paper. When you are done, you will take your phone and take a picture and make sure that you take a picture straight above your page and that it includes the entire page of homework. And then what you're basically going to do is you're going to click up here. And if you don't have room to click up here, you may want to, you can move this little box around. So you can move the box so that you have a space and it needs to be above the box because I don't have to scroll down. So this is where you're going to just train yourself to do. And then what you're going to do is go up here to insert and then picture. And then from wherever you are um, uploading it from, from the file, from the camera on your computer and so on. And so you'll upload it right there. Homework needs to be on your own paper, in your own handwriting, and you need to sign your name at the top as pledged as your own homework. So that's the uh, one thing that you're going to be turning in in OneNote. After we get into the year a little bit, we'll see how the Schoology works versus OneNote, and I may make some changes to this, but that's how we're going to start the year. I did try to put in, like, there's the video, but that's going to be in Schoology um, for homework number one. Here's homework number two. Watch your video. So these are, you know, kind of giving you kind of a heads up. I may go ahead and take the ones where you don't have submissions out um, for this. The homework number one, watch the video. I don't really need it here, but, I, you know, I'm trying to give you multiple ways to see where you're going to do your homework. A lot of it is if you go to this folder in Schoology, it should have everything that you are supposed to do for that day, which includes classwork, um, a little videos that you have to watch during class, your homework, and your video homework that you have right there. And again, you can always go back to your home screen and pinned at the top of the home screen is this, and you can kind of just go back in to see that and expand it, make it larger so that you can see the things that you are supposed to be doing and working on. Um, this housekeeping stuff, this is obviously this video is going to be living in the how to uh, page that's there. So just to again show you where that is, that's the first file. Uh, well, actually, you can click right here. See where it has that little question mark? In this classroom where you have all of the links that you can use, if you just click there, then it will come up to where all of the videos are going to be for how to do stuff. And so that's going to be important. Um, at some point, if there's a lot of videos, I may start to organize them by topic into folders like Schoology, Desmos, OneNote, um, and Calculator. 
so that that way it's a little bit more organized, but until we get a lot more in there, um, we're going to leave it like that. All right, so here's your how to submit items uh, to me for grading. Thank you very much.